Okay, let's do another analytic geometry question where we are still looking at conic sections, but in this case, we are determining the equation of an ellipse. So for an ellipse. So we're asked, what is the equation of the ellipse with foci points at 3, 0, and negative 3, 0? These are our foci points. And vertices at 7, 0, and negative 7, 0. So this is what we're given, and we want to find the appropriate equation for the ellipse. So let's begin by drawing a figure of what we're given. So this is my x-axis. I'll denote this as my y-axis. And we're told we have the foci points at 3, 0, negative 3, 0. So 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. We have a point here. Actually, let me use a different color. I'll use... This is for the foci, one foci point. We have another one, so it's negative 3, comma 0, 1, 2, 3. And we have a point here. These are our foci points, and we're told the vertices are 7, comma 0, negative 7, comma 0. So we're still on the x-axis, so it's going to be 7, comma 0. We have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is one point. The negative 7, 0, we go to the left. 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 7, 0. So we're still centered at that 0, 0. So our center here is going to be 0, 0. So that's our center. And now, like if we estimate how the ellipse would look like, let me try to see if this does it. Yeah. So if we estimate how this might look like, my, actually that's not good. I'll just draw it. So we have an ellipse that's symmetric about the x-axis. Okay, so we have an ellipse and we want to find the equation for this ellipse. So we know here, if we refer to FE Handbook 10.0, there's going to be in the Mathematics section, we can go to type in conic, and we can go down to conic sections, and we're looking at an ellipse. So we are told that eccentricity has to be less than 1, and we're also given the equation. So we know we're centered at 0, 0, so we plug in our h and k values, so we'll just get x squared, and y squared. If we plug in 0 for h, we get x squared. If we plug in 0 for k, we get y squared. So that top is taken care of. Our a and b values is what we are essentially trying to determine. So our a value is going to be this value, right, in the figure. So we're going from the center to the left. That's a. 2a is the total distance, right, from here up to this edge. So we have the value for a it's just going to be simply 7. So if we go back, our a value is just going to be this distance. So it's going to be that distance. We know it's negative 7 to the left, but it's just 7, right? a is 7. The same as this, right? This is still our a value. It's going to be 7. So we have our a value, that's taken care of. So we know we can eliminate which ones. So if we go back, it's a squared, right? What's 7 squared? 49. So 7 squared is 49. So this is 7. So this is out. This is 40. We can take that out. So 7 squared is 49. So we have two options, this one or this one. So that was our A value. That's taken care of. Now let's find our B value. Our B value, and it's going to be squared. So our B value, we have to determine that by specifically using what we're given for the foci point and for the vertices. And we know by definition our c value is going to be the square root of the a squared minus b squared. So that's our c value, which is our foci. But let's draw a picture of what we mean exactly by that. 
So we know we're going to have, we can denote this by a line here, a line here, and a line here. So this is going to be a right triangle. And I'm going to call this side A. This side is going to be our C. And this side is going to be our B. Our B value, which is what we're trying to determine. So we have a right triangle. Our C value is going to be the foci point, which is going to be simply just three, right? We go one, two, three. So it's just going to be three. Our A value, we already know it's seven. So that A value is the same as this A value. It's going to be seven. And our B value is what we're trying to determine. So what we can do is apply Pythagorean theorem, a squared equals b squared plus c squared. And we can find our value for b. b is going to be a squared minus c squared. Therefore, b is going to equal to the square root. a is 7, right? So we take 7 squared minus our c value, our foci, which is just 3, 3 squared. You can solve for b. And what I got for b was around the square root of 40. So we have the square root of 40 for b. So that's going to be our b value using this principle that we have a right triangle. We're going to have the strike right triangle anytime we have an ellipse that's centered at zero zero this always applies so again let's review some concepts so the foci is gonna be at the point plus and minus c comma zero this is our c right our vertices are going to be at plus and minus a comma zero and what we have here our semi major axis is a our semi minor axis is b and again we just apply the pythagorean theorem to solve for b and we solve for b it's the square root of 40. so b is the square root of 40 but don't forget in the equation we have to square that it's b squared so if you do the squared of a square root it just cancels the square root, right? So what we have is 40. If we go back here, what we have for B is just going to be simply 40. So our correct answer is not A, it's going to be C. Again, if I rewrite this, it can be X squared over what's my A value squared. A, we determined the 7. We just square that. So it's going to be 7 squared plus my y squared. What's my b value squared? It's going to be the square root of 40 squared. Square root of 40 squared. When we take the square root, and when we square the square root, it's just 40, right? Equals to 1. And that's the same as this answer. It's going to be our c. And that's all. Hope that helps.